Hello, everybody. I'm Mario Linares, and I'm broadcasting from Rio de Janeiro. Today, we have one more episode of Sips of Science. We are going to be talking about the largest event about sustainability based on science and technology, sustainability through science and technology. And I'm Mario Linares, and today I'm going to have the pleasure of talking to Dr. Congoli, to Dr. Uh, Jean-Marie Dubois, and we are trying a connection also with Japan. Today we have four continents. Yes, and right after our opening video here, we are going to be back and uh, we have a lot of uh, information about the Musitani uh, International Symposium. So let's start the show tonight. Welcome and thank you for your audience. Uh, let's get together uh, because we have a lot more to talk. Hello again, I'm Mario Linares, and as I said, I'm broadcasting from Rio de Janeiro. Today, we're going to have a multi-continental uh, broadcast. We are going to be in South America, here in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, where I am. Also in Montreal with Dr. Florent Congoli, Dr. Jean-Marie Dubois from France. And we are trying a connection. We haven't gotten the connection yet, but we are trying a connection with uh, Professor Wishiro Mizutani from the Nagoya University. But let's, uh, we are going to be talking to, about the Musitani uh, International Symposium. Before we start, I'm going to show you a video, show you guys a video about the symposium, okay? everybody, I'm Mario Linares, as I said, and today we're going to be talking about uh, SIPs of science. We have uh, uh, here, let's put on here on the screen, I've got uh, next to me here, Dr. Jean-Marie Dubois from Nancy, France, and also Dr. Florian Congoli, our host. I'd like to start with Dr. Florian Congoli. Hello, Dr. Florian, directly from hello, Montreal, hello, hello, Canada. Hello. How are you? Very well. So what do we have for today, Dr. Florian? Well, it is uh, the famous CISOM symposium that we're going to speak about. Uh, it is, uh, has been one of the most successful uh, sim symposium in SIPS uh, since long ago. Uh, and uh, this time is, uh, is dedicated to Professor uh, Mizutani of Nagoya University in Japan. It is dedicated to his lifetime achievement. Uh, it is a very interesting uh, symposium in, uh, in different aspects. First, uh, it is very fundamental. We're starting from electronic structure of uh, metals and materials of surfaces or, or, uh, or, uh, or coatings. And then uh, we uh, try to use this uh, understanding of these properties at the electronic level, at the electronic structure to help us uh, develop new materials and also a new type of energy. Uh, it's, so the name of the symposium is Mitsutani uh, International Symposium on, here you have it on screen, on intelligent and sustainable advanced materials. We call it uh, uh, shortly CISAM, uh, and because this has been, uh, been called since several years ago when we started this series of, uh, of uh, uh, symposia. Uh, it is dedicated to Professor um, Mizutani, as you see in the screen. Uh, his um, uh, field is a, a little bit, uh, I explained a little bit, uh, his uh, main uh, field of research, uh, which covers, uh, you know, many fields. Uh, all are in the website, but mainly intelligent materials and, and surfaces and interfaces. So this, it looks like a very theoretical uh, 
uh, and fundamental symposium. And in fact, it is. But we are able in SIFT to make the link with application for sustainability. And this is extremely important. Extremely important because uh, our focus in the entire SIFT, in this 360 degrees of SIFT, Sustainable Industrial Processing Summit, is the link between very fundamental science uh, to the most applicable technology. Uh, so um, our 50 symposia that are in SIFT, they, they uh, deal specifically deep science on uh, various fields of knowledge. Uh, as I mentioned before, we go from geology to minerals to processing um, to refining of metals and materials, creating new materials and uh, new technologies, new, new advanced materials, nanomaterials uh, through nanotechnology uh, and you name it. And application fields are in various, uh, various uh, domains like uh, dealing to, uh, uh, to new materials, to medicine, uh, and uh, any, in, you name it, the number of fields are, are uh, you know, we're, are in infinitive. Because why we are speaking about structure, electronic structure of materials. So since we are so, as uh, you know, at the fundamental stage, I'll leave Professor Jean-Marie to speak about more in detail than about this. I'm giving the context. You know, Jean-Marie yeah. is the main, uh, the main chair of the symposium. But since it is an honorary symposium by default and by as a as a as a tradition, I am uh, formally the chair. But uh, Jean Marie is the main one, the main chair and organizer of the symposium dedicated to Professor uh, Mizutani. Uh, so he's going to speak more in detail about this. I wanted to, to to make only the context as as always we do. Yes. Uh, in in the in the in the famous in our famous context of sustainability framework, you know it is. Uh, Sustainability has three criteria, you know, uh, protection of environment, protection of environment. Uh, second is uh, developing the economy, economic growth, which we normally we forget, and uh, development of the society, development of the human index, quality of life of human beings. So in order to, to fulfill, now, you are sustainable only if you fulfill simultaneously these three criteria. So these are the three criteria. There was a huge confusion in literature before. People were putting together all kinds of uh, you know, themes that are dear to them. There's nothing wrong. Everybody has his own uh, you know, uh, passion about one particular field in life. So they, but they wanted to put in, in the definition of sustainability concepts. So it became a mess. Uh, the criteria with goals and with, uh, with uh, actors uh, became so uh, so mixed up in a, in same in one in one uh, basket, nobody was able to really to have a clear definition. That's why we developed this sustainability framework. Then we divided the 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 the, the criteria from the effect from the actors from the pillars. We call them pillars. Actually, it's a table of three pillars: science and technology, government of management, and education and civil society. This field, these pillars are equally important. It's a table with three pillars. Any of the pillars goes away, the whole structure, we don't have sustainability, the whole structure goes down. And here we are at two things, at science and technology, at Mizutani Symposium, we are touching basically two things, science and technology and education. So uh, uh, Professor Mizutani is a researcher, which dealing with new, uh, new development and new discoveries in electronic structure and, uh, and uh, uh, wider than that. But at the same time, he's an academic that teaches the young generation. So we are touching here two pillars of, uh, of sustainability, very important pillars. And the Professor Jean Marie as a chair is also in exactly at the same, uh, at the same uh, you know, uh, framework. He is a, a famous researcher and also actually Jean Marie is a little bit more actually. He is a famous researcher one. He is a uh, famous educator two, the second pillar. But at the same time, he is an, he is a, he's a very successful, he's a leader which enters to the government and management, mostly in management, because he is a founder of one of the, uh, of uh, Jean Lamour Institute in Nancy, France, one of, the, uh, one of the most famous in Europe, especially in terms of some particular litis they have, like, like the famous tube and, uh, and the various fields of research that are integrated. And so that's why Jean-Marie basically is kind of, of uh, 
sips in miniature because he is he 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 f f falls in all the three pillars you know science and technology and so, research it it is in uh, in education because he's an educator in the university education of new uh, i mean a new generation but at the same time yeah. he's an entrepreneur and inventor uh, and um, and creation of new institute so managing managing so and you're revealing to us spirit. you're revealing to us firsthand that you based your your uh framework on professor dubois well actually i never thought about this before this is yeah. the first time i'm thinking Congre i'm presenting yeah, john this way so he's actually a miniature of six because he touches the three pillars of sustainability so well, uh, yeah sorry go ahead yeah well this is actually this is good that's why you have to have the discussions because while discussing this is completely new ideas came to my mind and that's true exactly well but and now saying hello to professor dubois would like to introduce our uh, guest tonight yes uh professor jean-marie dubois owns a phd in physics from the polytechnic uh, national institute in nancy france and his uh, doctor honoris causa from Iowa University in the United States, and also from the Federal University of Paraíba, Brazil. He is a former overseas fellow of Churchill College, Cambridge, uh, United Kingdom, and a uh, professor at Dalian University of Technology in China. He was recently elected an honorary member of Josef Stefan Institute in Ljubljana, Slovenia. And he is a member of Lorraine Science Academy and correspondent of Stanislas Academy, Nancy France, also. And he's the director of research at the CNRS in France. He chairs the professional committee of CNRS that is dedicated to materials, chemistry, nanomaterials, and processing. Good evening in France, uh, Dr. Jean Marie. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, it's a, it's a pleasure to see you again, both. Uh, the I, I I must apologize because I had a, a big thunderstorm two days ago, and my my router was burned down by lightning, so I'm connected only with my cell phone. And the, the connection is really poor. I do not understand uh, more than 30 or 40 percent of what you say, but uh, I felt, of, of course, very honored by all the nice words that uh, you both said about me. So I'm well, okay. It's a, it's a pleasure having you here. The last time I met you in person, was in Rio de Janeiro. As a matter of fact, you were one of the first scientists I've ever interviewed. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was my second or third interview at SIPS in Rio de Janeiro. And it was a, a, a big honor for me. And it's a pleasure having you here. I would like to have Dr. Florian uh, interact with you and ask you some questions about the, about, uh, the symposium itself, because uh, you've been a long uh, term uh, partner of SIPS, as Dr. Florian said, and even inspired uh, the, probably even unconsciously, the, the framework, the sustainability framework. But uh, Dr. Florian, uh, please, I would like you to talk to Dr. Jean Marie and, and about uh, the symposium. Yeah, we are. We will try to speak a little bit slowly uh, because of the connection issue that uh, the, uh, Professor Jean Marie uh, they just had a snow. Uh, uh, I mean, a, a thunderstorm. Uh -huh. So, and the connection this affected his connection uh, on the uh, on the Wi-Fi and on the router. So uh, we're going to speak a little bit slowly, which might look a little bit uh, not natural, but uh, it is better this way. Uh, we don't uh, withdraw in front of difficulties. Yeah. So one thing that it's important for Dr. Shamahi to know, we can understand you perfectly. Okay, Professor. Yes. Uh, so you can you uh, you might have a delay listening to us, but we listen to you perfectly. 
Yes, it is perfect. Your sounds come, your voice coming out here, perfect. So yeah, it's uh, uh, it's not the same here. The, uh, yeah. the echo, the echo is really uh, making troubles. But yeah. okay, I most of the time I can guess what you say. <laughs> Okay, so I'll make a little bit easier. So uh, I mentioned uh, the link between the Intelligent Materials Symposium with application in terms of sustainability. So if um, uh, you can enlighten a little bit about the symposium, Mizutani Symposium, in this direction, what people will expect from the symposium? and why they need to participate. So the, the, um, the, the, the important point is that uh, uh, Mizutani has a, a pioneer work in the domain of understanding why a certain crystal structure forms. So when you have uh, A, B, C atoms, say, uh, you observe that certain structure uh, form, but there might be many other possibilities. And why does nature select this or this specific structure is always a mystery. And, and it's, it's a, a, bi a big part of uh, material science to uh, understand why a certain structure forms. And when you understand why it forms, you may also design different structures. And uh, if you design new structures, you by the same time uh, invent new properties and therefore new applications. And Mizutani is a pioneer in the domain of understanding why metallic uh, structure forms. Metallic structures are, met, are structures in which parts of the electrons are mobile. They, have a, they show a certain conductivity, electronic conductivity, and uh, as a consequence, other interesting properties like uh, thermoelectricity. Thermoelectricity is one of the ways to produce a green energy. You produce a temperature gradient between uh, the two sides of a, a material and a certain uh, voltage uh, uh, forms at the, on both sides. And, and this is an uh, energy which you uh, uh, transform it into electricity. So this has a direct relationship to uh, modern technology. Uh, the work of Mizutani is essentially on uh, advancing the knowledge, the basic, the fundamental uh, knowledge on, on materials, but it has also, uh, in its own work, relationship to applications and therefore to sustain, uh, sustainability. So as you explained at the uh, beginning, uh, it addresses two different pillars of uh, sustainability. And uh, uh, for, for that reason, it is very interesting. Uh, Professor Dubois, what uh, uh, in this symposium, you've uh, been to other of these symposiums before. Yes, this is your sixth time at SIPS, right? If I'm not mistaken. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't when remember. I was in Rio, the first one was in Cancun. Yeah. 2014. Rio, were... 2014. The first 2014 one. was the first one. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, it was the in seventh. Antalya. Yeah, it's the seventh. Uh, Maybe. Antalya, I was in. Yes. I was in Antalya, in Ainan, in, in Cyprus, in uh -huh. Cancun for a second uh -huh. time. Um, Twice in, Cancun, in right? Rio, yeah, in, in Rio. Rio. Yeah, so it's the eighth yeah, time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And so the, why, the, in your opinion, in your opinion, why is SIPS so special? What makes SIPS 
different from other conferences around the world? Um, well, the 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 the, the, the late motif sustainability as it is introduced by Flore, the three pillars. I think this is unique. There are many, many, uh, now many congresses dealing with uh, some aspect of sustainability, um, essentially green energy and, and uh, this sort of things. But the three pillars and as a consequence, the uh, mixture of interesting, if not important, people who attend this symposium, this is still, in my in my opinion, this is still unique. So if you if you want to have an, an overview on uh, the different aspects of sustainability, this is the place to go. I hope I hope I yeah. did not. No, that's uh, that's oh, it's perfect. Much uh, that was the best uh, the best definition. You can the, make the, it. many many of the uh, many of the congresses that um, labeled sustainability. Mm -hmm. uh, they address a specific aspect. Mm -hmm. it, it can be very important. Green energy, or. Uh, uh, windmills or, mm -hmm. or, or hydraulic uh, uh, energy or whatever, but uh, and and therefore they are uh, important because they are specialized in this area. Mm -hmm. But the one that has an overview and uh, the one who brings people who can deal with this uh, overview is uh, SIPS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Doctor Flor. Dr. Florian, one thing that I, I find very interesting also, uh, this that uh, Professor Jama, he said, it's fundamental, fantastic, but as, there is also one thing, and I would like before speaking about it, to show with images what I think it's a great aspect about SIPs, yes? And I always say that P of SIPs means paradise because uh, <laughs> I, would, I would like to show the next paradise uh, place you've chosen. Yes, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about it, okay? So uh, we are going to show a video of uh, Phuket Island, yes, where SIPs will be held between the 27th of November and the 1st of December. <laughs> Dr. Florian, that P stands for paradise, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's part of the synergy. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, that's what uh, Professor uh, Dubois said. So um, we have the three pillars, we have the three criteria. So we have the, all aspects of sustainability related to fundamental science and technology, all, all in one roof. So, uh, the, 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 the beauty here is that, uh, you know, to achieve sustainability and to improve the human life, to have uh, uh, economic development, economic growth, and to protect the environment, you have to have cooperation of different fields of science, different fields of technologies, various, um, that's why SIPS is multidisciplinary. It's multidisciplinary and uses this great synergy between different fields of science, uh, different uh, disciplines. So you remember that in our, in our other, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, uh, in our series, uh, Art of Science, we use the expression, if science is one and art is one, one plus one makes five. Actually, this is the synergy. So uh, why SIPS is important and is so successful? Because uh, we have so many different fields of science and technology together. And then they create a synergy. And this synergy, it is if we add them together, the sum is much more, much higher than mathematical sum. So that this gives SIPS the strength. That's why the Mizutani Symposium, which looks so so fundamental and so theoretical, uh, it is linked to sustainability and it's a direct link. And then we make this link. And but uh, in the electronic structure in itself is not just for curiosity. It helps different other fields of science. And any development here might help any other new for new materials, new energy that Professor Dubois mentioned and in many other fields. And this synergy is unique and it is, you know, part of that. And what is missing until now, what I mentioned is missing the paradise that you just showed in the screen. This is part of quality of human life. This is three, one of the three criteria of sustainability, protection environment, economic growth, quality of human life, social development. And when you are in paradises like this, you are inspired, you, are, uh, you have the incentive to, to increase, uh, the, you know, you are, you are uh, the adrenaline is high and many of the new development discoveries are, are you know, are, uh, uh, they, they have their, their origin in a beautiful place when people are in high spirit, when people are happy. Uh, I remember one Professor Dubois in one of our interviews, I think it was in Cyprus said, it's very hard for people that are not here in SIPS to believe us that we work from eight or seven in the morning to 11 p.m. at night, although we are in the middle of this paradise. So you see the, the relationship because you know you are although you are in paradise and still you stay and work from seven to seven sure you have we have a deal with the hotel up to five days before and out of five days after people can stay with the same low prices for a vacation but some some choose to stay some choose that they are too busy but this is a synergy and um, i remember also uh, dr uh, jao ricardo the the surgeon and politician from Brazil in the recent uh, show that we prepared, he said, I, mind you, I didn't, I have not been in the beach. I have not been in the same swimming pool. I've been there listening to your program. So this is SIPS. That's why this paradise, which is the integral part of SIPS. It is a unique part of SIPS. We choose the best place in the world intentionally for scientists and engineers because they deserve it. This is another reason they deserve it they are people who develop the society we achieve sustainability the three criteria and they do not get so much credit and by not getting so so much credit they also they are not used to to evaluate as it should themselves we take care of that we choose the best places five star hotels in the beach in the best place in the world but for the price we have very good deals for a for a price of three or four star hotels and with our registration fee is all inclusive that includes four dinners four entertainment every night an entertainment every night a dinner every night a networking so it's a it's a full full activity so sometimes it's entertainment sometimes it's you, people know each other people become friends it's very easy to build bridges to create new uh, new uh, uh, new uh, multidisciplinary and multi-country cooperations and this is SIPS is known for. But this is where this P, your definition of PS paradise, enters in into the equation. It is part of the synergy. But Professor Jean Marie can speak this on a different angle. I think he usually speaks much better than me in this direction. No. No, <laughs> no, no, it was it, it it was very, very convincing. The the, the people the people who come to SIPS. They, they are those who invent the world. 
the exactly. managers, the scientists, and and uh, they their job is their own entertainment. So you, when you bring them to Phuket or Cancun, to these uh, beautiful places, you just uh, change the the background of the scenery. Uh, but the entertainment of their job is always there. Very, it's, very uh, good. Yeah, uh, happy uh, to. Sorry. When you are when you are a passionate uh, scientist, you do not work. You 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 dream, you enjoy <laughs> life, and you invent you invent new concepts or, or new applications or, or whatever. But uh, you do not you do not feel like uh, um, unfortunately many people who suffer from their uh, from their job. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not the case for passionate scientists like I. I was for 40, more than 40 years, and I'm still a little bit, um, but uh, uh, yeah, okay. So if when you, when you go to Phuket, uh, it's just uh, changing the, the place where you enjoy life and your job. Yeah, very, now besides this P of paradise, uh, sorry, Dr. Florin, go ahead. Well, I wanted to build a little bit on what uh, Jean-Marie said. Uh -huh. um, in, uh, in our Artists of Science interview that we did with uh, Professor Dubois uh, in October last year that was published uh, recently, uh, it is in also in our, our website, in YouTube, in LinkedIn, it's everywhere. Uh, we prepared a, a short, uh, a short uh, video which in, uh, in Instagram terminology is called Reels or in Facebook, but uh, in, in, in terms of YouTube, it's called short video. Uh, and that is a 30 second uh, you know, take of what uh, Jean-Marie said, why people should go to science in order to dream, to create their own reality, to create, to, to build something new or discover something new. And uh, properly Jean-Marie doesn't know this, but that short 30 seconds video, got viewed by almost 5,000 people in 24 hours. Wow. And was liked by so many people around. 5,000 views in 24 hours. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it's, That's it's surprising. Congratulations. It's surprising because the, the, laws, the laws of nature, the laws of physics, for instance, they are very strict. You cannot play with them, yeah. but nevertheless, to discover what is behind, what it means, how it is uh, expressed in nature, this allows you to to dream, to invent the road, to uh, uh, disclose your discoveries. This is part a big a big part of the joy of being a scientist is to disclose your discoveries, to talk to others, to, to teach to your students and, and so on. And, and all together you all the time dream what is the real world. It is, uh, uh, I don't know uh, if I express myself correctly, but uh, to, to create new knowledge is uh, a kind of a dream, uh, of course, which is bounded, it, it is, strictly according to uh, the, the, the laws of, uh, of uh, physics and chemistry and so on, but it is a dream. Very good. Uh, yeah. That's uh, why it was so successful. That's why it yeah, was successful, exactly. that 30 second video. Dream. He made people yeah, dream. Yeah, because it's, it's, it, uh, it, uh, it's unique and the people, we think people do not understand science and do not evaluate. 4,000 people, looked at the video and many, a lot of yeah. likes and so on. I don't remember exactly. It was, but you know, that's why I said, uh, you know, uh, Jean-Marie has a particular way of, uh, of uh, you know, of uh, treating these issues. Um, as, as I said, he's a, he starts with the three pillars, which is rare. You know, we normally, sometimes you have categories of people, you are just a scientist, 
so only in the laboratory and most of the scientists are some of them are very bad even explaining their achievements and we have that's why right, most of the re academic research stays at the university right over 90 yes. percent yes well they don't find the application more than that 98 percent. i don't know the exact how, how num much? number probably 98 percent. i don't know uh, wow. uh professor marie uh, but normally 98 percent of the of the discoveries are in uh, stays in the library they they don't they don't see the light of uh, of uh, of application but uh, but that's a different story. We can speak another time about this. But so some scientists are there, and sometimes they are not able even able to 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 explain correctly what they have achieved. On the other side, we have the educators, that are the very good educators, and they are very passionate. They are able to transfer the logic to the young generation. But not all scientists are good educators. There are some might be very good scientists and very bad educators and very bad way of explaining to the students. Although they are very famous scientists, they they lack the way of communicating. Oh, and even rare, you find people that are, have entrepreneur spirit, the leadership spirit, the the governance spirit. So the three of these you can find in Jean Marie, which is very unique. And here we are at the at the Mizotani Symposium. It is very fundamental. You cannot go more theoretical than that. Electronic structure of everything, of materials, metals, uh, polymer, uh, you know, um, uh, quasi chemical, uh, you know, structure, uh, you name it. It is yes. really at the nano, the super nano level. But yet, we are able to bring this, to make this interesting and link it to sustainability and to the application. And I remember, Jean Marie mentioned. He participated in 2014 in Cancun, the first participation as a plenary lecture. And sometimes I have really difficulty uh, uh, asking people at the, at the general plenary lecture, since we have uh, scientists from every discipline, let's say minimum 50, the plenary lecture has to be uh, interesting for all of them should not be deep science because many of the uh, them they, it's not their specialty they will not understand so what is important is it which is a real specialty in itself you you need to to make it understandable to all different fields of science to make the links with all different fields of science and to show where there is applicable and the easiest part that Jean Marie has been from the start at 2014 uh, uh, what was the, the, the theme of the presentation? Push, 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 uh, pull, Alois, uh, Jean Marie? I don't remember now. Maybe it was push, just on quasi crystal. No, I it think wasn't quasi crystal, but push, push, pull, Alois. Push, push, pull, push, pull came later. The, I think you presented in, in 2014. Maybe, maybe no, 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 you presented in 2014. No, no, no. Already, Aya? Okay. Yes, yes, I remember that because it was. A very difficult way of, uh, you know, you are speaking about quasi crystals, but it was a very understandable way and uh, attracted attention to many scientists of different fields. So uh, these qualities you don't have in all scientists, and uh, this is what I'm saying. Jean Marie has a, has a, it kind of sits in miniature. It touches the three pillars. As he, his actors on, on, uh, you know, it's it's a, it's part of the table that keeps. Uh, the structure of sustainability alive. Great, great. He's the whole table, not the legs. <laughs> he's, he's the whole table. Well, because uh, of that. <laughs> yeah. well, Professor Dubois, uh, one thing that was important, you being a, a symbol of these three pillars, what is the importance of having at SIPS the uh, uh, public workers, like, I mean, uh, uh, public leaders, like pol political leaders from all over the world, uh, scientists, academics, and uh, interpreters in the same environment, in the same place, talking the same, discussing the same conversations. And what is the impact of this? And getting the, the findings, the, the discoveries, the academic uh, findings from the academy into the society, 
That that's basically what SIPS does. How important is this in your point of view? Uh, the scientific the scientific part is uh, is easier because um, the most a, a large amount of the uh, participants come from uh, science and education uh, area. Quite different quite different fields, uh, quite different disciplines, but uh, these these people they can uh, immediately. Uh, grasp the ideas of uh, other scientists and bring them back in their in their labs in the in the all uh, what is more difficult is uh, the interaction with uh, the other uh, two two categories um, to and I was I still remember one of the uh, lectures by uh, an English uh, uh, high level uh, political manager and and he had very good very good ideas so this i think this is uh, one of the main aspect of uh, of sips that you can uh, get out of your specialty and uh, understand uh, the the way uh, other other categories of uh, leaders uh, uh, think and and develop their their ideas so the uh, what i would say uh, SIPS is uh, a place where inside a symposium you gain better knowledge of your own field and outside because of the uh, variety of uh, participants you you can during the, the meetings and the and the dinners and the entertainment uh, you you can really uh, de develop a, a better knowledge of different fields I think in Cancun, it was in Cancun, I had a dinner with uh, the uh, uh, owner and main manager of uh, copper mines in, uh, in South America. And uh, it was very interesting to listen to this gentleman uh, talking about uh, what is the reality, the, the cruelty of the market of uh, my, uh, copper ore and in the world, so it was very enriching. So I think this is uh, uh, important that SIPS brings together so different people and uh, gives you a chance to, to understand something totally out of your um, domain of expertise. Very good, Dr. Florian. Uh, we are getting to the end of our our broadcast here. I would like you to have some considerations be, be, before the final considerations. I would like you to talk, uh, tell us a little bit more about SIPS. But before we go to it, I would like to show you uh, show one more video here uh, about uh, the Sustainable Industrial Processing Summit and exhibition: Science through, sorry, sustainability through science and technology. Dr. Florian, 600 uh, uh, scientific uh, presentations. Yes, nine Nobel laureates. It's the biggest event of its kind in the world, is it not? Yeah, it's a record for nine Nobel laureates. It's a record. Is that the, uh, this no other show in the world has nine Nobel laureates. Is no, not correct? at this. No, not at this category. No, uh, uh -huh. unless there is only a meeting of Nobel laureates. It's a different story. Uh, but um, here it is, uh, it's a record, it's a world record. Mm -hmm. uh, now, um, what uh, Jean-Marie mentioned uh, before, uh, this SIPS is dedicated to a Nobel, uh, it, to, to Professor Farid Murat, Nobel laureate in medicine. It shows the breadth of, of SIPS. Uh, and uh, I want to complement what Jean-Marie said with a, with a, expression that uh, Professor Farid Murad 
said in Cyprus during the interview. Um, he said, when you bring a biologist and, uh, and entrepreneurs together, you develop biotechnology. So uh, he says um, uh, other expressions similar like this, but this is the this is the key. This is SIPS. So uh, and then you you cannot the the development today are mainly in the cross cut of different scientific uh, disciplines. Uh, there the are uh, you know the the uh, the golden mine is in the cross cut of various disciplines than in one inside one discipline. And if I want to, to complement also what Jean-Marie said with another expression from another Nobel laureate, Professor Dan Shetman, which is a good colleague of us and a very good collaborator uh, of Professor Dubois. Actually, Professor Dubois with his work uh, made it um, uh, you know, proven. Uh, he proved the, the discovery of Dan Shetman on quasi-crystals. Uh, it's a long story on that. Dan Shetman was ridiculized in the beginning 30 years ago for his discovery by many of his colleagues, but uh, not Jean-Marie. He, he, he saw the potential of quasi-chemical -chem structure or non-periodic structure materials. So, and he, he proven the theory. So, and that's why um, this is one of the strongest uh, contributed in, in getting Nobel laureate to Professor Dan Shetman. So since we are here, I wanted to, to mention also, Dan Shetman has also an expression. Uh, he, he says that you have to be a specialist in one field, uh, but you have, have to have, you have to be deep in one field, but to have, you have to have a great radius of knowledge of other fields. Mm -hmm. So basically this fits very well with SIPS. So we have 50 deep scientific and technology symposia, but you have the option to, to run to one of these different fields and find out how they work, what can what new technology can be developed. So what 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 are the this, different all needs? this in a 360 degree uh, approach, exactly. right? Exactly. You have a legal approach, you have a, the biological legal approach, approach the medical exactly. approach, the engineering yeah. approach, chemical, physical, everything. Okay. You cannot have medicine today without technology, without, without materials. So materials is considered sometimes very old field. No, 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 no. It's very, it's one of the primary field in developing of new medical technologies and the indirect, uh, indirect uh, serving to human lives. When I was in, uh, in Nancy in uh, France, we visited, uh, I think you remember, with a cousin live from the uh, from the um, you know virtual uh, hospital, where materials plays an important for uh, in a, a very important. You cannot have really modern medicine without materials. We cannot you cannot have more modern medicine without uh, uh, without automation. Uh, we do, you cannot have modern medicine uh, with um, without uh, different uh, you know uh, technologies that are developed on the material level. So uh, this is life. But we forget about this because we live in our own field and we rarely see outside. But if, if we want to prepare an astronaut going to the moon or on a different planet, what we have to do? You have this six, 300 degrees. You have to take care of minerals, geology, medicine, uh, you know, legal aspects. You Nutrition, have to develop everything. new, you have everything. If you wonder, this is, this is the easiest way to understand the complexity of 360 degrees of tips. If you want to send an astronaut in a, in a different planet, you have to take care of all these aspects. And all these scientists have to cooperate. Otherwise, be, uh, going in a different planet, is, it will be impossible. So you, you name it, fuel, yeah. energy, uh, nanomaterials, electronic structure of Mizutami Symposium, coating, surface, properties everything is there so this is six so i leave sure. jean marie to compliment me i complimented what he said and i'm leaving him to compliment me now exactly it's very well, interesting uh, when he speaks by the way very good, good. Well, professor good. Jean -Marie, uh you're we are getting to the end of the the broadcast so i would like to to have you speak 
well, what everyone, I mean, about the symposium, the special comments, a uh, special invitation, anything you want to talk, okay? Well, uh, f first of all, I'm looking forward to meeting you two in, uh, in Phuket. I, I'm uh, on the, to the spot to, to buy my flight ticket and to, to book the hotel. So I submitted an abstract uh, to illustrate the, uh, the theory of Mizutani in the field of uh, applied science of uh, quasi-crystals. So this is the, the first point, and I, I invite uh, uh, everyone to join us uh, in the different symposia, including uh, the one I am in charge of. Uh, so it's, it, this is the first point. The second point, I, I hope I hope that uh, uh, this uh, very good habit of ships to take us to nice places on the uh, on the planet, uh, Cancun, uh, Ainan, now Phuket, and, and so on, is not a way to show us what the paradise was before uh, the COVID period and now the, the war in Ukraine. Uh, so this is a, a world that we have to preserve, and uh, it's getting more and more difficult to do this. And uh, and that's it. Uh, so the um, I'm I'm sorry that we could not have uh, Uichiro Mizutani with us on the on the connection due to technical uh, problems. But the, the symposium is open uh, to, of course, experts in uh, electronic structure of, uh, of metallic uh, materials, but it's going to be much broader. It will also address the applications of, uh, of this uh, area in science, especially servo-electricity. And uh, of course, we will accept all other uh, uh, presentations that deal with uh, the electronic properties of materials, their applications, uh, the uh, design of new uh, advanced materials, the design of new methodologies to study uh, materials, uh, of course, computational uh, physics or computational science, because all this uh, work of Mizutani is achieved thanks to uh, modern uh, computational methods for materials. And, and so on. So everyone is welcome to to join us. Uh, uh, it's of course still still time to register to send an abstract, and let's uh, see us in Phuket and enjoy a bit of uh, uh, happy happy hours and happy days in this beautiful place. Very good, professor. And. Uh... If you're watching us and you have, we want more information about the Mizutani International Symposium, there is a link down here in the description of just uh, in the comments. The first comment you're going to see if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, you can just access it and you're going to have all the information there. Uh, Professor uh, Dubois, I'd like to thank you very much for your participation. Yes, uh, I'm still going to let you say good night to everybody from France. Good morning if you are in Japan, for example. And I would like to ask Dr. Florian just to, to make a comment about something that uh, Professor Jamahi said. Imagine I am a scientist. Uh, I, I do research on this field or another field, and I'm interest in, interested in participating on SIPs. How do I submit uh, uh, my... my my research, my presentation, uh, is it, uh, do I have to, is how, how difficult it is to participate of SIPs? This is the question. What should I do? Uh, well, uh, you know, I was searching for the email for my Teresa, my assistant, Teresa. She has prepared uh, some suggestion for slides for Jean-Marie. Um, I was planning to look at them before sending to him, but um, no, uh, the participation, it is, uh, the participation, it's a free. You do not need an invitation to participate. If you have any discovery in, in electronic, in the field of, uh, of uh, intelligent materials, 
you are welcome to submit an abstract. If you need an invitation, feel free to contact us. It is a open symposium and summit for everyone. Uh, everyone in the scientific committee, sorry, in any in, in, uh, in scientific uh, in the, any scientific field has one specific symposium uh, for him or herself at SIPS. They are free and welcome uh, as long as it's scientific and uh, we are uh, we are respectful to each other. Everyone is welcome. There is no censorship. We do not take sides. If you if you are if you have a discovery and uh, you are competing with our discovery, so you have a technology and you are competing with other, other technology, this is the, the place to be. We do not take sides. We welcome debate. Everybody was, is welcomed. It is a free, free platform for for science and technology. Uh, it is uh, not. Uh, it is not. Uh, you know, in science, uh, they, the famous scientist in the world says that not every 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 tentative is successful. So it could be even a wrong one, even a description of a wrong one. We learn from the from the past and we achieve. We can fail ten times and uh, and achieve the eleventh time. So. SIPS is open for everyone. Debating, uh, if you are able, for example, um, let's say like this. So if we take as a rule, you have to fail 10 times and to succeed one time uh, at the 11th time. If you participate in SIPS and in the debate, there is a good chance instead of failing 10 times and succeed in the 11th time, is a good chance you succeed in the third time because you have the synergy of other fields around it. So everybody is welcome. And uh, uh, also to meet Jean-Marie, any electronic and in the three fields, in the three fields of electronic uh, intelligent material. So you are a huge field, by the way. Mm -hmm. It is not only those fields that we have described, but anyone is, uh, is, that is interesting, he can, uh, uh, he can participate. So it's, it's open for everyone. Very good, Dr. Florian. Thank you very much. I would like to thank everybody who's been watching us for this almost an hour of broadcast. And if you're not watching live, if you're watching this uh, after we went live also, I'd like to thank you very much. I would like to suggest everybody to subscribe here. This is a joint production between TV Onda Azul. You've got the website there, tvondazul.com.br. And also Flojan Stars of Breach. You've got the website there, flojan.org slash SIPS 2022 for SIPS. If you just want to know more about Flojan, flojan.org. Uh, it's a pleasure having you guys here. So Probably. remember, subscribe uh, on the website. Just leave your like on the video and write a comment so that we can know, we can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Dr. Florian. Probably we can see the possibility to have another one with Professor Mizutani. Uh, oh, it will be a pleasure. It will be a pleasure. Um, uh, after after today's uh, uh, show, it will be very interesting to have him. We managed us. we managed to achieve with Jean Marie, although he is coming out of the big thunderstorm. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, <So, laughs> and now, was perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. It it was a great pleasure having you here, Professor Dubois. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you in, in Thailand uh, yeah. on the 27th, from the 27th of November to the 1st of December at the uh, uh, SIPS uh, Phuket. Yes, at the Phuket Hilton Ar Ar Arcadia, right? The name Arcadia. of the hotel, uh, Phuket uh, Hilton Arcadia. So it's a magnificent hotel, as you, you usually say, one of the best hotels uh, in Thailand and uh, a great convention center. We are going to have a special video on, on our on our next Sips of Science showing the hotel specifically because we've showed the paradise, but the hotel is a, a special paradise too. Uh, it's a great place, a great spot for a convention. There's a lot of work to do, a lot of academic works to be shown. It's over 600 uh, scientific uh, presentations. So it's a lot of work that is uh, being done, that will be done, but in the middle of paradise, as I always say. So Professor Jean-Marie, thank you very much. 
Uh, Thank you for the you can have your final considerations now. You can say goodbye to everybody. I mean, good evening in France, right? What time is it there? Uh, uh, well, I think one, one a.m. It's one o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning. So I'm very sorry to keep you awake until now. <laughs> and thank you very much. But yes, like I want to. Me. I want to add something. Yeah. We missed a very probably next time when we do with uh, uh -huh. with uh, Professor Mizutami. Uh, Jean Marie, uh, at this time, he is in in his observatory, looking at the sky, taking pictures of galaxies. Uh -huh. And this was the plan tonight, but because of the thunderstorm, this we couldn't do it. So next time we, we show the the observatory. Well, there next time probably he will do it when we have Mr. Tommy. He will be from his observatory. So deal, this is deal. his his precious time to look at the sky in the midnight because it's quiet Very and he good. sends me beautiful galaxies pictures he takes all the time. Very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Professor Jamahi, good evening. Good morning, I think. One o'clock in the morning is good morning already. Yeah, good good evening for you and uh, see you next time. Maybe from the observatory if I'm still in, in the southeast of France. You, you'll be the there until when? until the 15th of september oh okay probably we'll have enough time to see yeah i hope so we have like a month a whole month to yeah to we'll get what, things yeah. going i'm curious about the observatory now dr florin <laughs> good uh good night for you too it's uh you're in montreal it's still early it's seven o'clock seven o'clock seven o'clock and by the way i was planning at seven o'clock i have a business meeting with my friend paulo and hopefully he is, uh, you know, watching this, and I can excuse myself, and I am late. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. you can send the link and say, "Look, Mario kept uh, held me there, so yeah, it's yeah, Mario's yeah, yeah. fault." So, Paolo, I'm on the road, almost coming. Yeah, Paolo, uh, <laughs> sorry for keeping Dr. Florian so long, but it was a pleasure having everybody here. Uh, we, we today had a, a broadcast from North America, South America, and Europe. Dr. Florence in Montreal, uh, Professor Jean-Marie Dubois is in the south, southeastern part of France, and, uh, and I am in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So it's a big pleasure having you guys here, and we'll see you next Thursday at uh, 10 p.m. GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. 7, 7 p.m. in Brazil, 6 p.m. in Montreal. And depending on where our guest is, it can be good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, but we'll be back. That's it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Every Thursday here talking about science, sustainability, and uh, a lot of innovations that will, will uh, change the world and make the world a better place. See you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.